Hi guys, welcome back. Lesson 40 today, my favorite seventh graders. We're gonna be talking about, uh, lesson 40, we're gonna be talking about adjacent angles, angle pairs, all sorts of different information about angles. First and foremost, let's talk about this. If you are in my class and watching this video, you must be taking notes, my friend. This is a triangle. All triangles have 180 degrees. 180 degrees, that means this plus so actually, you know what? You should write it out the proper way. We're gonna do this. We're gonna call this triangle A, B, C. Angle A plus angle B plus angle C will all give us 180 degrees, 180 degrees. So for example, number one, we have a uh, triangle that looks like this. And this is A, B, and C. Now we are told that this C, angle C is a right uh, angle. If you see this little square in here that's saying, hey, it's a right angle. Then we also know that angle B is 30 degrees. Okay, so that's 30 degrees. What we don't know is angle A. So angle A plus angle B, which is 30 degrees, plus angle C, which is 90 degrees. All those added up are going to give us 180. Angle A plus 120 equals 180, because all I did was just combine these two, right? In order to find angle A, we just have to subtract 120 from 180. When we do that, we get angle A equals uh, 6, 7, 8, so 60 degrees, 60 degrees. So all of our angles add up to be 180 degrees. Make sure you're writing that down and um, taking notes. Uh, let's see example number two. We've got this triangle here. Okay, so this one was a hard one to draw. A lot more involved. Sorry about that, guys. All right, so we've got this triangle here, and it's asking, find the measure of X, Y, and Z. Well, we know that, okay, so this is another interesting one. Before we go too further into this, um, we, we're going to need to talk about, so actually, I'm going to set this aside for right now. We're going to need to talk about some, uh, some words that you're going to need for vocab. You guys, you need to write these down for your notes, okay? The first one are adjacent angles. Adjacent angles. Adjacent angles share a side, share a side. So that might be something like this, angle one, angle two. These would be considered adjacent angles. So make sure you're writing that down. Um, another one is supplementary, supplementary angles. Two angles that add up to 180 degrees or form a line, okay? Uh, so something like this, angle one and angle two would, let's say that this is 120 degrees and this is 60 degrees. Those are gonna add up to 180. So these would be supplementary. These, and this is like, if this was angle one right there and this was angle two right in there, that angle one and angle two would be supplementary. So they add up to 180. Um, so then, the other one that we have are vertical angles. So if vertical angles, uh, they're across from each other, across from each other and are congruent, okay? So vertical angles look like this. This guy and this guy are gonna be exactly the same because the, those are vertical angles. So there's like, they're forming an X like this. Um, so, and they're congruent. And congruent means exactly the same. The same. So if you don't know congruent, make sure you learn that one. Um, another one is complementary angles. So we said two angles that add up to 180 degrees are supplementary. Two angles, uh, complementary two angles 
that add up to 90 degrees. So complementary angles add up to 90 degrees. So if we have something like this, angle one and angle two there, if they added up to 90 degrees, those would be complementary angles. Uh, okay, so then let's talk about some of these. So um, you may hear me say with uh, supplementary, I may refer to them as linear pairs too. Linear meaning they form a line. So taking a look at this guy right here, what we have are, uh, we need to find X, Y, and Z. Well, first things first, we know that a triangle makes 180 degrees. So if we have 50 plus 90, so 50 plus 90 would give us 140, right? So we have 180 minus 50 minus 90, okay, uh, is gonna give us, I'm all paranoid that I'm gonna make a mistake now. No, oh wait, I don't, it's late. I don't know why I was looking that up. That's gonna give us 40 degrees. So we know that X is gonna equal 40 degrees, okay? Now things that, so X and Y are adjacent, right? X and Z are vertical angles. Do you see how they're, they're making this where they're, they're across from each other? Because of that, uh, vertical angles are always congruent, right? Always congruent, which means that X and Z are both 40 degrees, okay? Now, X and Y, you'll see, form a linear pair or are complementary. Uh, not complementary, sorry, supplementary, because they add up to this, they make this whole line. Do you see this guy right here? So another way of looking at that would be, so they make a half circle here. You see that half circle? Uh, so because of that, there's 180 degrees in a, uh, in a half circle, right? And that's why that's what makes things supplementary. So we take 180 degrees minus 40 and we get 140 degrees. So Y would equal 140 degrees, okay? Hopefully that's making some sense. Uh, but those, those vocab words are really important to know. All right, so the practice problems are on page 242. They look like this. Uh, you'll need to uh, pause the video, do those, and uh, then come on back once I get them all straightened out here. And then come on back and make sure you got them right. Okay, so those are the practice problems. All right. Losing my markers. <sighs> okay. All right, so let's talk about these guys. First things first. Ooh. There we go. First things first. Let's do A. The sides of a regular triangle are equal in length and angles are equal in measure. What is the measure of each angle of a regular triangle? Okay, so this is called, if all the angles and all the sides are uh, the same, right? That means that this is an equal, uh, la equal uh, lateral, it's, that's where the eye goes, lateral uh, triangle, equilateral, right? So uh, what that means is, that they are uh, the angle, it's also equal angular, but there's 180 degrees in a whole triangle, right? If all of these are even, we have to divide them by three, which gives us 60 degrees. So each one of these in a regular tr uh, triangle would be 60 degrees. So that's for measure A, or measure A, problem A. Let's try that again. Um, for uh, questions B through D, you're going to refer to this guy, I'm gonna draw it here so that we have a drawing. Whoop, there we go. A, B, C, D, and then this guy right here is 70 degrees. All right, for B, what is the measure of angle A, C, B? Remember that um, the order of these guys is really important here. A, C, B, that is this angle right here. This is, that's A, C, B, so that's this angle right into here, right? Well, we know that, uh, we presume that these are right angles here, okay? So A, C, B equals 90 degrees, because that forms a right angle, or AKA supplementary, or complementary. 90 degrees minus the 70 degrees gives us 20 degrees. So this guy right in there, that's gonna be 20 degrees, okay? So uh, let's see about C. The measure of CAB. CAB. So that's going to be this guy. CAB. That's this one right over here. Okay, so the way that this works is this guy is 70 degrees. This one on the other side uh, is, well, we assume that this is 90 degrees. Okay, so if that's the case, we have 180 
minus 90, which gives us 90 degrees, because this triangle here would be 180 degrees. Minus this 90, right? Minus 20 degrees means that we would get 70 degrees. So this equals 90 degrees minus 20 degrees, which equals 70 degrees. So this guy right up here, 70 degrees. This is also something you'll find out in geometry. Um, these, this guy and this guy, these are alternate sides, right? Uh, those ones are congruent. Okay, so let's do, I don't wanna get too deep into that though right now. Let's do D. Uh, our angles A, C, D, and C, A, B, vertical angles, why or why not? A, C, D is this one right in here, and C, A, B, this one right in here. Are those vertical angles? No, those are actually um, alternate interior angles, but we'll get into that much later. Um, so not vertical. Okay, so then let's see about, um, oh, uh, E, I'm sorry, there's one more. So for measure of angle E, or um, for problem E for these guys, we've got a triangle here that goes out like this and goes out like this. Boop, boop. This one we know is 40 degrees. This one we know is 80 degrees. This we know is X, Y, and Z. Okay, so we know that 40 degrees and 80 degrees. So we take 180 minus 80 gives us 100, right? Because that's at 80 degrees. Minus 40 gives us 60 degrees. So X equals 60 degrees, right? Now, because X is 60 degrees, so is Z here. Z equals 60 degrees because of vertical angles. Now, but if X is 60 degrees, I'm gonna redraw those guys. We have X here and Y here. Do you see that? I've just redrawn it here. We know that this is 60 degrees. This again forms that half circle, which is uh, means they're linear pair, they're supplementary, uh, means that they equal 180 degrees. So 180 minus 60, it was a six, seven, eight, 20 degrees, 120 degrees. So Y equals 120 degrees, 120 degrees. All right, guys, any questions, let me know, but this is a good introductory or introduction to some of those geometry terms that you're gonna see over and over again, not just now, but when you get into high school. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. Thanks, guys.